Hey guys and welcome back to another more with Moro's video. Today's video is going to be a cleaning motivation video. I am giving you guys 10 minutes worth of cleaning inspiration and motivation and just showing you guys those areas in my house that I've been needing to clean. I just kept putting off and I just was like, you know what? Nope, they're gonna get a little tender extra love and care today. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video and let's go ahead and get started. So actually before we jump into this cleaning video, I wanted to share with you guys a copycat recipe of the medicine ball Starbucks tea. This is one of my favorite teas, especially when I'm not feeling well or if I just need a little extra comfort. I just feel like it's like the most comforting thing to drink, but you are gonna need the Tivana teas, both of those. And I actually got those on Amazon, so I'll link those below for you guys. And you're going to need honey and lemonade and of course hot water. I'm using my Consori, I think that's how you say it, electric kettle. I'll also link that down below for you guys. So the original recipe actually calls for steamed lemonade, but I just go ahead and add the lemonade in my cup and I feel like it tastes almost the same, but I'll actually mix it with the honey first and then I'll add just a little bit of hot water just to kind of loosen the honey up and then go ahead, stir that, add my tea, then add the remaining hot water and just let it steep for a few more minutes. And I'm telling you guys, it tastes almost exactly like the medicine ball tea from Starbucks. It is so good. And I'm having some leftover ham and potato cheese soup or cheddar soup. I'll leave that recipe down below. It is so good, especially for the next day. And then I just go ahead and try to find myself a video to listen to while I clean. You guys know I love my crime podcast. Some of my favorites are Crime Weekly and also Stephanie Harlow and who's another one? Kimberlea. I love her videos. But today I am listening to Crime Weekly and I just go ahead, put my headphones on, grab all my cleaning supplies. Now for this 10 minute cleaning video, okay, I wanted to focus on the areas that I have not really been focusing on for a while, or I guess the areas in the house that need a really good cleaning. So that's definitely going to be the bathroom for us. We're a large family. We got a lot of people up in this house. <laughs> that means a lot of people are using the bathroom. So I'm making sure I am giving this toilet, as you can see, a really good clean, especially using an adequate amount of bleach. Um, but now I am just wiping down the shiplap because the kids also, you know, they're kids. They're When they're washing their hands and getting dirt everywhere, they're touching the walls and splashing stuff. So I just give that a good wipe down and of course wipe down the sink and give this bathroom a good cleaning because it definitely needed it. Another area of the house that needs a little extra tender love and care is our coat closet. If you guys remember, I got these organizers a while ago. I showed you how I organized them, but of course, like anything else, I told you guys, nothing stays organized for too long and I have to go in and kind of reorganize everything. But actually what I'm doing is I'm looking at shoes that no longer fit the kids. So it kind of works out because then I'm able to purge a few items as well. There's a couple shoes in there that didn't fit Scarlet anymore. So I just went ahead and reorganized all those shoes and put them in their designated places and now I'm working on the mud room it actually wasn't as bad as it normally is like during the weeks when the kids are in school it can definitely get cluttered and disorganized um, so I just basically just gave it a good vacuum and a wipe down because it did get a little dirty with their shoes when they set their shoes up there so I went ahead and did that and just straightened up their lunch boxes and backpacks
Oh, another well trafficked area, of course, is gonna be our entryway where our front door is. And this rug definitely gets the most dirty and the one I have to clean the most. Um, and actually my cordless vacuum doesn't work that well on it. For some reason, things love to stick to it. So I usually have to bring out my big shark vacuum to vacuum everything up. And I mainly use the cordless vacuum for the wood floors. Cause like I said, it's, it's a well trafficked area. So, um, there was definitely a lot of dirt and grass. And speaking of dirt, Fletcher, you guys saw that plant in the previous clip. He loves to take out the dirt. And then the other day he threw it all over the walls and I never cleaned it up. I never had a chance. Um, and it didn't look dirty you guys, but once I got to wiping everything down, as you can see, it was pretty dirty. Um, so now I am straightening up the playroom, another area in the house that, is well trafficked of course but we're actually thinking this is a total side note we're actually thinking about making this a office in the new year and purging a lot of the kids toys especially since they're gonna be having christmas soon and putting a majority of their toys in their room because they have so many you guys there's so many toys and we desperately need an office especially because we run simply etched and you know i have to do voiceovers and the office space that we have now is just like it's not it's not practical so anyways that was a total side note but i went ahead and started mopping this entryway as well because the floors were pretty dirty you guys know i love my bona mop it is literally the best thing ever i have only used it i love the solution as well it just makes our floors look amazing it doesn't leave like that residue that sometimes it does on top of um, wood floors. I don't know if you guys like a film is what I'm trying to say. Um, but anyways, now moving on to our fridge. This is another area guys. Like I'm doing a speed cleaning today because there were so many different things that I wanted to get done. Um, so the fridge was one of the things there's, you know, I, God knows what's on this fridge. You, I, I don't even know, but, um, I'm just using those stainless steel wipes that I showed you guys. Um, and I use that basically on all my stainless steel appliances. And it is honestly, amazing you guys can see it left our fridge so shiny i don't like the way that it feels it feels very greasy i will say that like kind of oily when you're wiping it down whatever they have in the wipes but i'm telling you guys it leaves our appliances looking so clean so shiny so brand new so i'll also use this on the stove in the oven and then you guys will see i will use it on the dishwasher too um but another area that desperately needed to be cleaned and wiped down was inside our microwave i don't know if you guys can really tell or not but it was filthy in there so i am actually just taking some all-purpose spray and giving that a good wipe down and then i do go behind and use the stainless steel wipes to kind of just clean up the rest of the stuff and make it shiny and nice and looking and everything so um and then i also did wash the tray that goes inside there as well moving on to the kids bathroom uh, this is another area that desperately needed to be cleaned because just like the downstairs bathroom this is the main bathroom that all the kids use and share so it can definitely get really dirty uh, so definitely giving that toilet a good scrub down and spraying it down with bleach um, but another area of the house that desperately needed to be cleaned was the bathtub because uh, recently we've been dyeing the girl's hair it's a semi-permanent dye but just like any kind of dye it can stain things and it definitely stained 
our shower. So uh, we have like blue and red stain in there because um, the girls went back and forth between blue and red hair dye. Um, and then I just realized you guys, as I was spraying the bleach, I totally forgot to take the shampoo bottles. Like mid spraying, I was like, oh crap, I need to take those out. So I noticed that the only thing that will get the hair dye out, cause it was also on the counters, I wanted to mention that. Um, but the only thing that I have found that will clean it up is bleach. Like I've tried other cleaners and everything and it doesn't work. The, for some reason the bleach takes it right out. Um, so I gave that a good scrub down and I didn't show this, but I also used some soft scrub as well just to give it a nice clean in general because even though I had to get that dye off, um, it needed to be cleaned regardless. was in there I just went ahead and restocked the kids cotton balls and cotton swabs um, we have like this little tiered organizer that I also put all of their ponytails in and everything this is perfect for bathrooms especially for the kids I know it's glass um, but Aria and I are the only ones that really go in there and mess with it but um, it's it's literally the best thing to organize all the kids stuff so I'll link that down below for you guys because that's also from Amazon I also have an Amazon storefront if you guys ever want to know where I got something like a lot of stuff for the kids bathroom when we did that makeover is linked is linked in my Amazon storefront which is also linked in my description um, but just giving their counters a good wipe down again with that bleach because it, it was all over the place that's the only downside about that hair dye got to clean the floor so I just went ahead and vacuumed it and then mopped behind it um, so that is going to actually wrap it up for this 10 minute clean with me obviously this did not take me 10 minutes to do it's just me condensing everything I did in 10 minutes to give you guys a little cleaning motivation and inspiration to clean those nasty areas of your house that need a little extra love right now because it's so easy to forget about that we always do our daily clean um, but Go check your microwave right now. Is it dirty? Is it dirty? Maybe it's time to clean it. Or you can just leave it there like I did for like three weeks. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys. Bye.